Welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about the hypotenuse leg theorem. So, the hypotenuse leg theorem is a triangle congruence theorem that states if the hypotenuse and leg of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and corresponding leg or leg of another right triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So, on a diagram, what that looks like is if we have the hypotenuse of one is congruent to the hypotenuse of the other, and we have a leg is congruent to another leg of the other triangle, then those two triangles are going to be congruent. All right, so let's look at a little bit of a note. This postulate is used to prove that triangles are congruent, and we now have five theorems and one definition to use to prove that two triangles are congruent. So review here from our previous lesson videos. We have side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and now the hypotenuse leg theorem. So we have five of these, and that's it. We're not learning any more for congruent triangles, just these five. And then, of course, the definition of congruent triangles, which um, is a little bit more work for us. All right, so let's look at this example here. We are given a bunch of information, so we're definitely going to want to put these all on our diagram, figure out what we have. We have that BE bisects AD at C. All right, so if BD, or sorry, BE bisects AD at C, we know that this one is congruent to that one. Now notice, it says that it bisects AD, not that they bisect each other. So only one of them is bisected. Be really careful about how you read that. All right, we also know that AB is perpendicular to BC, so we can mark that with a little right angle. And DE is perpendicular to EC, all right? And then we know that AB is congruent to DE. So AB here is congruent to DE prove that the two triangles are congruent. All right, so what we're actually doing here, if we look at our information, we're actually proving that, hmm, let's see. Well, we're actually proving that the hypotenuse leg theorem works. So, I mean, if we use the hypotenuse leg theorem, there's no work to do. So this is gonna be a proof of HL. So what we're going to need to do is use other theorems to prove that this hypotenuse leg theorem works. So let's start with our given information. I know it's a lot, but we got to write it in there. BE bisects AD at C. All right, we know that AB segment AB is perpendicular to BC. We know that segment DE is perpendicular to EC. And we know that AB is congruent to D, oops, to DE. All right, and our reasons are given. And it got a little smushed, so I'm just going to make it a little smaller there so that it all fits and move this over. Perfect. All right, so next we have to think and we don't want to use the HL theorem. When we're trying to prove that a theorem is true, we don't want to use, don't use HL. We want to use the other ones that we have um, to prove that HL really does work. So if we think about our other ones, we can use, um, let's see, we can use any of the other ones, S, 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 A, S, angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle. So we don't want to use HL, but we have a lot of other ones to choose from. All right, so let's look. So what else do we know about this? Well, we know that if I have two right angles, then those angles have to be congruent. So here, I know that angle B has to be congruent to angle E. So we want to just start thinking about congruent things that's going to get us to what we want. So let's see, I've got um, all right angles are 
incongruence. So just explaining a little bit. I don't remember the exact name of the theorem, but it's okay. In a proof, if you don't remember the exact name, sometimes you can just explain what the theorem says. Here, I'm using the theorem that says all right angles are congruent. All right, next, if I mark that on my diagram, I have this angle is now congruent to this angle. Ooh, I also have vertical angles. Always look for vertical angles. All right, so number three, we have angle BCA is going to be congruent to angle ECD by the vertical, vertical angles theorem that says that all vertical angles are congruent. And now let's stop here for just a second before we keep going. Let's see if we have enough to prove our triangles are congruent. I have two pairs of sides. I have two pairs of angles. That's four pairs of congruent parts. But do they fit any of the information we have here? Well, if I look, I have two sides, but I don't have the third congruent side yet. So I can't use side, side, side yet. Let's look at side, angle, side. Well, if I do that, I have my two sides that are marked, but I don't have the angle in between them. So side, angle, side doesn't work yet. How about angle, angle, side? Well, if I look at my two angles, I do have two sets of angles. I don't have the side in between them, but I don't need the side in between them. I have other sides. So it looks like we actually have enough information to stop at this point and use angle, angle, side. So let's do this. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC by angle, angle, side, congruence. So sometimes the end of your proof kind of sneaks up on you a little bit and you have to stop and think, ooh, do I have enough to stop or do I need to keep going? All right, so that's the proof that proves that HL theorem works. We can use that later in other proofs if it comes up. And I think that concludes our lesson for today. So thank you so much for watching and remember, math is fundamental.